Good evening, everyone. This is Kosala, also known as Marventus, <coughs> bringing you yet another, and uh, now one I've actually not done in a very long time, a first-person view game, one of my own games. It is Thursday today, and uh, from now on, on Thursdays, I will be focusing on trying to put out a first-person perspective game from the Bronze League to give you an idea of the shenanigans and tactics and strategies of doing things in the Bronze League. Now, key thing to keep in mind here so far is that I have totally forgotten to get a production tab up. There it is up now, and that, my friends, that's a six pool. Now, you're wondering why I'm doing that. I'm sure I'll explain that in just a second, but let's get to the players here in the bottom middle corner. We have bottom middle corner. There is simply no such thing. Let me try that again. In the bottom middle of the screen, there is a blue blue Protoss. That is myself, Marventus, in the top middle of the screen and the op opposing corner. We have the the red Protoss, Mr. Black Matex. Black Matex. And here we are on my favorite map in the whole wide world, Metalopolis. Now, in this video, I would like to chit chat a little bit about Bronze League tactics because Bronze League tactics are not GSL tactics, they are not Upper Diamond League tactics, they are a whole other bag of shenanigans by itself. And you'll find that the uh, most of the games that you will see cast on YouTube in, in uh, Diamond League and upwards host some outstandingly excellent tactical play and analyses by a variety of wonderful casters, but trying to implement those in the Bronze League will lead to general failure, right, because uh, people play weirdly. Now, one thing I've decided, discovered uh, playing in the Bronze League is that uh, it is never too early to get a damn spawning pool up. Right, one of two reasons, get it up early, plop out those four Zerglings as early as possible, go and harass the enemy. Yes, go in and harass the enemy if you can. Now, I have to say in this particular game, this pl that ploy did not work out as well. The reason for that uh, is that these four Zerglings, <coughs> once they got this very, very far away end of the map, the wall off had already been done by Mr. Black Matex and they couldn't get in. I did manage to snipe a probe though, as you're just about to see. Right, however, however, get the damn pool up. Because if you get rushed, which will happen very, very often, you must have defense. Right, and this is a nonsensical idea to do in, in higher leagues because generally people will not do cheese runs. They will uh, go for the long macro game. They won't risk the econ economic failure of a failed cheese. But in the Bronze League, all such bets and common sense and dare we say intelligence is completely off. So make sure you've got that defense going. There goes the probe taken down by my links. They come up the ramp, see the zealot and know that it is too late to do any damage. Now, had this wall off not been there, it would have been straight into the mineral line, mess around here, and really at that point you can stop. You don't need to go pummeling on uh, creating armies at the expense of your macro game. You can stop there, because once you've done one rush and done a serious amount of damage to the mineral line, had that been possible, uh, you would actually have gotten a significant advantage. <coughs> so let's get back to my base and see what the hell I'm doing. The first queen has popped out. Right, we are now droning hard. The first gas has gone up. The second one will go up regular soon. Now, if you look at the thinking now, the thing is, I've noticed that it's a Protoss. I've seen the wall off. I know that he's on one base. I've got a ling out there to make sure I can see when he, when he moves out. Right now, I know for sure that I'm safe. The only thing I need to do is drone away. I've got an Overlord parked here in the middle to catch anything flying my way. But in the meantime, I am simply focusing on droning and getting my basic buildings up. So I've got a Roach Warren coming up. No big surprises there because it's a Protoss opponent uh, and Roaches and Hydralists are very good against Gateway opponents. You notice I'm not necessarily taking up to a lair in any kind of hurry. I'm getting my second gas because I'm thinking of tossing out a few Mutalisks to do my second scouting round. And in the meantime, I'm getting an Evolution Chamber. Get that up early. The Evolution Chamber comes in very handy against, uh, against air units that will come to attack you. And also, as soon as you get it, pop the uh, first attack or defense um, uh, upgrade because it's very very useful help. Now, for example if I was going with zerglings here I would have gotten that carapace upgrade early because upgraded carapaces uh, on zerglings make them outstanding melee opponents against hard-hitting uh, hard-hitting mobs like the zealot. Uh, so carapace upgrade or the attack upgrade. In this case, now that I've seen the, my, who my opponent is, I know my Roach Warren has come, has come out, I'm going to go with the attack upgrade instead. 
In the meantime, I have now gained enough minerals to pop out a hatchery. You'll notice 26, 23, 26 supply. In no particular hurry. Do not fast expand in Bronze League. It will come back to screw you right, if there is some sort of fast attack coming your way. In this case, I made sure I knew I was safe before I plonked that down. Right, because I can see the attack coming if it comes, and I've got all the time in the world to prepare defenses. Right, so it was a safe bet. Now, what is my opponent doing? He's tossing out some void rays. He's going to toss out the odd void ray or, or, or two and come my way. Now, because I haven't done my second scouting yet, I actually have not seen this target. <clears throat> is that a problem? Not particularly. The reason it's not a problem is because I've been droning hard and laughing hard and expanding away and my economy is sound. I've got the minerals and, and gas I need to do any a fast response if necessary. So no exaggerated efforts are needed at this point. I'm just focusing on my economy until I see a reason to counteract. Until then, there's no reason to do anything. Now, now that I've gotten to this point, it is now start, starting to, to be roughly around the 9 minute marker. You really do need to get a scout out there at this point, because if you don't, shit like this happens. Because right now the Void Ray is coming in, and actually I have not seen this coming, so I don't actually know that it's on the way. Right, but, again, because of the spec we went with, we're not really in any kind of serious trouble. The Spire has just gone up, I've got two Queens out, this is only one Void Ray, and I had my Zergling scouting away, so he scouted the, the, the Voidy right there, so now I know it's there. What do I respond with? I immediately toss out another Queen because two or three queens are all you need to chase off, or, or two queens actually, uh, all you need to chase off the Void Ray, and I'm bringing my second queen down here to group up. I spy the Void Ray, spy the void ray coming in, in they go, no chance that Void is taking down those two queens, and voila, fully defended. You notice I've got barely a unit. I don't have a single unit. It's nine minutes in the game, but I've got two queens, two on the way, no other units, and the only thing I've been doing is droning which is freaking fantastic. And all of this because of the early attack that freaked him out. Right, he went air, using up all of his initial minerals to, try to make that happen. I had all the time in the world to drone up and expand, and there we go. Right, now my Spire is about to finish. <coughs> now having said that, it's also worth noting that I actually have not now scouted in a good 8 minutes or so. It really is time to go take a look. And because my economy is so strong, I can immediately pummel out a large amount of mutilis to go and do some harassment and, and check out the lay of the land. In the meantime, economy is still building over here. My lava, or rather my, my, my um, creep growth, really not particularly good right now, but uh, at the same time, that is one of these things you don't need to worry too much about in Bronze League games, because generally speaking, none of your games should ever last longer than 20 or 30 minutes. And you also never need to have more than one expansion, ever really, in a Bronze League matchup. All right, you notice that I'm not keeping my minerals low, as you'll find many casters will tell you to do. And this is a very, very smart idea in any higher level game. But when you're in a Bronze League, you really just need the two hatcheries. You need to make sure you've got your economy sound. You will definitely have more money and more gas than you need. That is okay. Because by the 20 minute mark, around about the 100 food level, all you really need to do is build up a wonker of an army and go nuke them. Unless you've got something galactically, gigantically wrong, you should win. Now here we have our, uh, our uh, posse of, of uh, mutilisks <coughs> heading in to see what damage they can do. So let's see what happens. Now on the subject of winning, I'm actually on a very good win-loss streak, but for some odd reason I can't seem to climb the ladder, and this has been bothering me for quite a while in the Bronze League. But finally I saw a few weeks ago that Blizzard had finally admitted that there actually is a problem with Bronze League matchups, and you lose a huge amount more points than you should do every time you lose a game, and you gain very few, or you rather you gain the right amount. And this has always been bugging me, because I felt that there was something wrong. Because my win-loss ratio is excellent, but, but every single time I lose a game, I plummet by a huge amount of points. All right, and now at last we've had that explained. Now the mutilists are in there, there's nothing going on here, these uh, probes are going down by the bucket load. And now I spy the nature of the army. So you can see that the whole army that the Protoss player has is really all air for the most part. There's hardly any ground units worth speaking of. There's a huge amount of cannon wall offs. Now why did this happen? Because we freaked the Protoss guy out by running Zerglings early on. He thought we were going to come at him very early with the cheese. So he went completely bananas and spent all of his money on cannons, which is why he has no units. 
Well, it's the, the six pool, absolutely priceless in Bronze League. And not to do any cheesing, but just to freak your opponent out. Build one, run some lings, wreck some havoc, point and laugh, all that good stuff that you do. Right, now, how am I responding? Hydrolist Den. Now, you'll notice that I didn't start building the Hydrolist Den until I saw the voids. And I've got all the time in the world because I pummeled down a bunch of uh, spore crawlers. And uh, along with my queens, they're all the defense I really need. So I don't even need those Hydrolists in order to defend against this attack. But I'm putting the Hydrolists down because I know I need them for the final attack. Three spore crawlers up at every base, more than enough to handle any kind of um, aerial stuff coming your way, barring, say, a complete fleet of them, which your opponent really shouldn't have anyway. So here, th these voidies, as you will see soon enough, wind up being no great degree of problem at all. In the meantime, upgrades are continuing. Missile Attacks 2 and Carapace 2 are going to be upgraded as well. Uh, priceless upgrades. Make sure you get those before you go after your final attack. Now look what happened here. Phoenix came in, didn't even manage to do anything before he got shot down. Voidies come in. By that time, the Hydralists are ready to rumble. They have no chance at all. That's the end of that. And you've got all the time in the world to do this. All the time in the world. Right, so uh, oh, attack early, drone hard, build an army. Don't try to overexpand. You don't need to grow nuts with the with the creep thing. You don't need to have five uh, hatcheries by the 30th minute. Totally unnecessary. Right, you can do all of this in a nice, calm sort of way. And even if you get cheesed early, you're still good because of the six boot. Alright, now it took me a little while to evolve this uh, this build up, by the way, because I didn't originally do it this way. I went through quite a, a few games, and then I stopped playing StarCraft for a while because I got bored of this uh, this uh, up and down running on the ladder due to the the Bronze League bug. Alright, and finally, I'm I'm sort of back to normal gaming now, uh, and uh, I've th this sort of evolved organically from actually having watched quite a lot of uh, pro matches and seeing how inapplicable those uh, tactics wind up being in the Bronze League. Because initially I was trying to copy those tactics, doing a standard like 14 pool, 14 hatch opening and whatnot else. <coughs> Here we go, my first little foray. I've got a handsome sort of level of, of army there. It's not too big, it's not too small. Going to take a poke around and see what happens. Now this time, our Protoss opponent not entirely sitting on his on his uh, on his bum doing nothing. He's actually managed to build a little bit of an army. <coughs> but while this is going on, I notice you notice that the my, my mineral and gas count is completely over the roof. But I'm not expanding because again, you just simply don't need a third hatchery in Bronze League. You just need two bases. So why build another one? <coughs> Ooh, I am sorry. Massive cough there. I must have surprised you all. Here we go again. Attack, bling bling, made a small mistake there and hung out by the uh, by the, the, the cannons a little bit too long and wiped up a few of my units unnecessarily. Now, although I'm losing my units here, you see that I've pretty much taken down his entire army and he needs to build them all all over again. <coughs> Which is fine and dandy by me because I can macro up an army in no time at all, uh, as you'll see. So now we're looking at minute 18 and a half. And then, uh, oh yeah, I had a few units heading down that way, but I pulled them back because of course I'm not going to win with that little posse of units. Uh, now I'm going to build up my, my bigger army. I've got eight Hydralists, I've got four Roaches, and I'll have more coming out fairly soon as well. Fully saturated on, the, on, on both gases, fully saturated on minerals in the main base, and mostly saturated on the second base as well. I'm only, only missing a few drones there, really. <coughs> And that's pretty much all she wrote. You could pretty much run this setup over and over again and win most of your games. Uh, this is how I managed to get my, my little winning streak going uh, that has kept my, my win-loss ratio what it is today. And by and large, it works. I mean, eventually you're going to run into a situation where you either make a mistake or your, or your player is too good to, to, to deal with it. But in general, this will work for you in Bronze League. Finally, our opponent putting down his first expansion. However, this is more or less the case of too little too late. <clears throat> His economy is not good enough. His army is nowhere near good enough. And mine is freaking huge. Another little tip worth doing, 
always, always take an overseer with you. <clears throat> Just on the off chance, they've got stealth units. Whenever you're doing a move out of your final push, take one or two overseers with you. You will, you will not regret it. Now, what have we got here? We've got uh, two command groups, one and a half command groups. Uh, worth of units heading down to the uh, to our opponent's base. Our Protoss player is <coughs> nowhere near prepared for this. So there we go. Let's see what he does. The armies are just about to meet. We have the unfortunately Hydralis in the front. I sort of mismanaged the way I handled that. Should have had the roaches in the front, of course. Uh, but nonetheless, I believe I do survive this particular encounter. <coughs> Look at how good the upgrades are. These units are going down in, in, in absolutely you know no time at all. And that should be GG at this point, really, because what else could he possibly do? There goes his, his last external pylon. I'm moving into the expansion. There is the GG from Black Mavics. <coughs> and that is the end of the game. So once again, folks, Bronze League rules are a little bit different get that spawning pool out early poke around with your lings early if you see an opening go for the jugular and end it if you don't see an opening just pull back macro away and continue until you've got two bases round about the 20 minute mark do not build any more bases or expand anymore just focus on your army and go nuke it and that's all she wrote all right and i am open to comments ideas uh, complete disagreements and everything else really uh, so do those things that you youtubers do and like dislike and comment below let me know what your ideas about these things are and your own bronze league experiences are and if anybody else <coughs> does exactly this thing and also wins consistently let me know because i'll be interested in hearing it until next time folks have a lovely evening